We're in the V&A Waterfront Marina in Cape Town at the first stopover of the Global Ocean Race, which is a round the world yacht race for 40 foot yachts. I'm joined by Jennifer Lonsdale, Director of the Environmental Investigation Agency, who has initiated a programme of recording data by the teams as they're sailing around. What sort of, uh, what sort of uh, data did they collect? Well, they've collected a range of things. They've, had some, uh, they've collected some wonderful images of whales, dolphins, um, some amazing fish, an owl, which was hundreds of miles from, from the land, an egret which landed on one of the boat, a gorgeous picture of some swallows which just, uh, decided to have a little rest on another of the, of the yachts. But also most disturbingly is they saw an enormous amount of marine debris, which is basically human trash, plastic bags, uh, plastic boxes. One of the boats got a huge piece of plastic caught around its rudder. It was about eight foot long and about five foot wide. They um, were, it was, as I said, it was caught around the rudder and so they had to uh, free it. They brought it on board and they disposed of it in Cape Town. But it's just an example of the sort of things that um, is floating in our oceans. One another thing they told me, but it's difficult to film, was crisp packets, a lot of them. I mean, the plastic does degrade slightly, but it's still a dangerous, a dangerous material. Yes, in fact, it doesn't biodegrade, and this is the difference. It will break down into smaller pieces. And what we're finding is that on the micro layer of the oceans, where there's a lot of algae and other very important organisms, um, it's being joined by micro or micro pieces of plastic. And uh, this doesn't do any, organizer, any organism any good. And it's a real threat to our ecosystem. These uh, six boats with their, their 12 crew set off for 7,500 miles to Wellington in New Zealand, taking through quite a lot of the Southern Ocean. They'll be at sea for about a month, including Christmas. What are you, uh, what are you hoping they're going to collect data-wise for you? Well, I'm really longing to see pictures of things like albatrosses, um, whales, dolphins, um, what other um, exciting wildlife is out there. But also, I really do want them to document if it's at all possible, and it's not going to be easy because they're sailing in some quite challenging conditions, but if they um, see any marine de debris, I want them to uh, take pictures or film of it, and I want them to be able to take a GPS reading so we know where it is. And then EIA will be able to contribute that information to the International Whaling Commission. So the international community can start really building a profile of exactly where the debris is. There's a huge initiative within um, international organisations, including the IWC, to really look at this problem and see how we can mitigate it. We, as, as human beings, are causing enormous problems for our oceans. And in the end, it's also going to affect us. By these guys getting out there, and documenting what I see, they will make a small but important contribution to our knowledge of marine debris and we can then use that information to see if we can find solutions. Jennifer, congratulations on such an exciting project. Thank it's you. an absolute privilege to be involved. I'm very impressed with these sailors and uh, they are really are keen to be our eyes of the ocean. I wish them every success with the race. Thank you, Jennifer.